Right. To now out at UNLV. Good morning, Kirika. Well, hey, good morning, Alyssa. Good morning, Jason. So one thing I've been I'm loving about today is I'm covering a lot of impressive students. You know, earlier it was impressive high schoolers. Now it's impressive college students. These mechanical engineering students are showing off their projects, and we're giving you a look. That's coming up after the break. Okay, engineering students at UNLV are showing off their inventions as part of a big competition. Mm -hmm. And Fox 5's and Karika Zuka joins us live from the competition with a look at some of these products. You're just spending your morning surrounded by talented kids. Yeah. Hey, good morning, Alyssa. Good morning, Jason. So it, the fact that I've been surrounded by so many talented students today, it's really inspiring. It makes me want to, you know, kind of do a little bit more with my life. And right now we have Guillermo uh, Guevara, who is a mechanical engineering student here at UNLV. And he actually is part of the team that invented this little doohickey right here. We're going to tell you a little bit about it in just a bit. But right now, first of all, Guillermo, talk about, you know, why you decided to go into engineering. This is a pretty um, prestigious uh, career path you chose here. Uh, well, when I was in high school, you know, I didn't really have a plan for myself, but then when I was a senior in high school, I finally decided to join the robotics club. Look at how fun it was to work with, you know, machines with my hands, fabricate things. So uh, after doing, you know, all that kind of stuff for a full school year, I decided, yeah, I want to follow the mechanical engineering route, and I signed up, and here I am now. Awesome. Very cool. So with this competition, the task is they all have to find a problem and find a solution to it. So with your um, contraption here, what was the problem that you identified? So with the uh, door, the easy door project here, the, I'm sorry. So with the easy door project here, the, our problem was that uh, these types of doors are, or door systems are actually very expensive. The average price for one is about one to two thousand dollars. So we wanted to manufacture one that was well below that price, which would be difficult. But with the use of 3D printing, we figured out that we could make one for surprisingly cheap. Awesome. So you guys started this as a joke, kind of. The idea <laughs> came as a joke. You were telling me off camera. Yeah, uh, Marshall over there, my friend, he actually had a, uh, his dog was in his room, and he, didn't, he wanted to open the door, but he didn't want to get up. <laughs> so he said, why don't we make a door operator? <laughs> and actually, it came true, and here we are. So um, we're trying to get it to work right now, but it looks like we're having some type of so, uh, technical yeah. difficulties. But it's really cool because like not only will it let the dog out when you don't want to get up from from your seat, it'll also help for people you know who might have walking disabilities and stuff like that. So the goal of this project is to let people know that these are projects that they want to maybe see in the market one day. So very cool, very impressive students that we have here. All different types of products that solve all different kinds of problems. Very cool stuff going on here at. UNLV. Alyssa and Jason, I'll send it back to you guys. Really? Um, and Kirika, they do not need to be embarrassed that this isn't working. This happened to me during a class presentation in the sixth grade. We all had to invent something and bring it in to show the other students. Right. And with the help of my very smart engineer-minded father, I created a water squirting alarm clock ha. to get me out of bed in the morning. Love it. <laughs> and uh, I was trying to get it to work, and it worked hooked up to a really high battery okay but when I brought it to class mm. the regular batteries in the alarm clock weren't letting it go and I'm like no 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 it's gonna work just keep wait, going but wait wait everybody wait while the teacher <laughs> is so annoyed of that eh, eh, eh. and so she said she believed me cut, oh, yeah. off, the, cut off the presentation yeah we uh, I, I'll never forget mm. we uh, we had a prime time live shot on Fox 5 evening show and it was a car break in and it it just didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. It, it happens to the best of us. <laughs> I mean, of course it, it, it was Myth Metro. It, 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 you know, it always, because we practiced it. We They practiced it several times before we got on here. And of course, <laughs> the time, we, we yeah. came down to the 11th hour. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's yeah, okay. What are you going to do? That's live TV. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's class presentation. Just like just like when, it, earlier this week, when Inkerika kept making her, uh, her what was it, her uh, basketball shots? Oh. And then when she got on air. I think she wants you to forget that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll it check that. Oh, oh. There we go. We I knew. It. We, we just have to vamp it. a little bit. Yeah. Then we get it. All right. Thank you, Erica. Very Angelica. cool. <laughs>